The Pro Plus Capo is the first Dario offering to feature FlexFit technology, a naturally responsive silicone formula that mimics the action of a human finger fretting a string. With the Dario Pro Plus Capo, every string rings clear, clean, and in tune. This one um, is made um, by a company called Southside Guitars, based out of Birmingham, Alabama, um, which is uh, one of my favorite places to go. I, I love playing there. Good people. Um, and I, I learned about this guy, uh, Tom, um, who uh, is, the, is the builder there, actually from um, Bruin and St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Okay was playing these amazing Telecasters. Yeah. And I'd just be like, man, like, where, do you, where are you finding these Telecasters or whatever? And he's like, actually, it's all this one guy that's making them huh. out, of, uh, out of Birmingham. And, um, and he, had actually already made, <laughs> he had already made this guitar. Um, and I think it was just so weird, like, no one had bought it. Yeah. Kinda. It feels wrong. And like I, I, before I made the, the remark about marriage between the pickups and stuff, this feels like a divorce because it's a Gibson <laughs> with the Explorer. And then you got the obviously, I don't want to say blatant to get Tom or, and Southside in trouble if they haven't already gotten in trouble. It's a, it's a pretty fendery neck. Exactly, man. <laughs> no, and you know, it, and it's, and it, I just thought like, wow, what an interesting looking guitar. Yeah. It just really struck, I don't know, sometimes like, Weird things just uh, hit me, hit me in in the sweet spot, I guess. But um, I just thought it was so interesting looking. And then, you know, when I picked it up, I mean, feel how light it is too. It's like, oh it's, wow, yeah. Even with the Bigsby on it, yeah, like, that's a pretty light guitar, yeah, yeah. you know. And so my show is pr like I'm jumping around and jumping off of amps and stuff. And so for me, it's like this is ideal because it, you know, it flies well. Yeah. Well, could you? Plug it in and we'll maybe hear what it has to say. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and as, we, as we catch up here, it even has like a little bit of Jazzmaster influence with the with the, the barrel on the, the bridge there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a really like, it's a really cool guitar. Um, oh, I got it in drop D. Let me just... Now, obviously, you use a 12-string for 12-string songs, but in, in, as we allude to the next two guitars, are more standard six-strings. When would this get brought out, or when would this be used on a set? And I assume you do tour with this. Still? I do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This like these three are pretty much my main guitars that I play live, um, and so this this comes out for um, a lot of stuff like. A lot of the earlier stuff, um, I, like this. This guitar is cool because it's a great rock and roll guitar, but it's also like I can get pretty country on this guitar. Yeah. So like my earlier songs, like Trouble with Drinking, yeah. or like this kind of has a sort of telly kind of thing mm -hmm. esque thing that it can do that works great for that. It's like the telly custom vibe with the the single coil and the the you know Keith kinda, yeah, setup. Yeah, exactly that sort of thing. So it's cool for that, but then also like. Um, you know, like my first album in the Blazes, um, there's like uh, this kind of like shuffle tune on there called The Dangerous Kind, which we've just turned into like this like 10 minute long <laughs> <laughs> jam. <laughs> jam, basically, yeah. Um, and uh, and I, I, I'll often like uh, pretty much, it, yeah, every time like I play it on this guitar, um, it's uh, it's also like um because it has the single coil thing like it 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 uh it rocks but it's like uh i don't know how to say this right like it's it's not it's not dirty it's like gritty mm. it still has some like clarity yeah. to it at a certain point so um yeah but you know for something like uh for something like this uh like these dudes here let me see It's like instantly that kind of thing. So, um, but then yeah, also like, 
uh, let's see, like, oh. Like my song, East Nashville, song about a train. <laughs> it's great for like this kind of shit, like. gets that like that honk honk country honkiness <laughs> to it too so it's really versatile in that way for me cool man and uh do you ever really use the neck pickup much i, I noticed um, both county there was in the bridge yeah i do like uh like i have this song called the truth is so hard to believe um that i play on this guitar that has this kind of like crazy like octa fuzz <laughs> It does it. <laughs> yeah, man. So it gets nice and beefy and like big and, and chunky too.